Hey, Ben Kaiser here, jobsinthefuture.com, and today we're going to have a myth debunked. The C student is the owner of the company, and the A student works for them. But, have you ever considered why that is? Well, looking at it today, what is the difference between a C student and an A student? At face value, a C student is someone who receives average grades for average work. An A student is somebody who receives excellent grades for excellent work. But how do they get that work? I believe that commitment is far more powerful than intelligence. So I knew a lot of C students when I was in school who now work at maybe Starbucks or some retail store or just a, a, a job not even closely related to their major. Washington Post put out a study. They said that 72.7% of people in college are not even working in a field closely related to their major upon graduation. So what's going on? What's happening? Why is this C student myth so true? Well, I think it's the way you study. So I'll give you an example. I was in Algebra 1 class. Very, very terrible at that subject. I studied and I studied and I studied in between you know, playing soccer, hanging out with friends, and eating dinner. So I didn't study too hard, but I figured out a way to get through the class. The teacher said, hey, your homework questions are going to be the same questions that are featured on your quiz. So get good at working those problems. I thought, I can't work any of these problems. But I had an idea. If I could memorize the problem and the answer, put the two together on the quiz, and nail hundreds on every quiz, I could skim by the test and still nail this class with a C. Bad idea. Horrible idea. Did I pass the class? Yes, I did pass the class. But I didn't learn algebra. So there's the issue. It is not the fact that a C student is going to be the owner of a company and an A student is going to work for him. The fact is, a good C student will push and work and grow his mental capabilities because he is not simply gifted with intelligence of maybe your average A student who can get by with just a little bit of meager studying, get the good grades, but never expand their mind. So C students have to work harder, have to ask questions, have to know where to find information, usually on average a lot more, which is why you find these highly motivated C students and end up being the owners of these companies. And that's really what I feel it boils down to. There's a full article about this over at jobsinthefuture.com. It was about an 11 minute video, so I knew that that wouldn't be quite uh, fitting in the whole YouTube quick video spurts. So I, I encourage you to head over there and check out the full review, uh, details and statistics on that. For now, thank you for watching this. Please hit the like button. Add your comments below on why you think C students are so much more successful in this myth and why the A students end up working for them. I want to know your answers. I want to know what you guys are thinking about this. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next episode of jobsinthefuture.com.